quick tour of a two million dollar pressure washing company not all the trucks are in but you can see a bulk of them got a couple of my toys i need to get out of here anywho so sorry that's uh 650 and there's uh the show the show stopper <laughs> uh anyway building the skid right here we got all our trucks set up exactly the same and i'm gonna run you through really quick uh what's going on with these again this is all set up like mcdonald's you know uh if you ever watch the movie the founder on netflix they go to a tennis court and they draw out the kitchen on with, on a tennis court with chalk. Same thing that we did here was um, we got to weld some stuff in, but everything's going to have a place. We're going to reset this to there. Um, swip, uh, anyway, long story short, that'll be one guy's. His other stuff will be, the other guys will be there. Um, these will have a holder. Uh, there will be a t long toolbox here for us to throw the blower in, slide this in. Um, these are held up by pipes. You got your lances over there and your extension poles tied up under there. Um, and then there'll be room for the surface cleaner to slide up in there. All that is organized. And then we put in these toolboxes. That's why I order, that's why I buy these Chevys. Um, these are really cool. Um, so you got your field tech manual. This, this is really cool here. I got um, all the troubleshooting videos and stuff on QR codes. Um, so the guys are like, oh, I don't know how to fix this. Well, watch the video. Um, spare parts, tools, extra PPE, um, roof anchors. And so essentially what we're doing here is we're literally inventorying the truck. So we wanted to set it up to where we inventory each one of those trucks that quick. We briefly look in here. Does that look good? Cool. Uh, check the exterior cleanliness. There's five check marks on the um checklist that the the service manager will look over every single friday make sure every one of these trucks is brought back in shape <clears throat> so what we got here is that tv that you saw upstairs the dashboard that's going to go right there um we have our weekly safety meetings here so everybody signs there's topics and then there's company standards in there the goal is to beat company standards in the guys heads every single week customer communication uh, uh service knowledge um how to explain it um, safety, everything, company standards, communication, team communication, customer communication. Um, we're working now on, we've kind of hit our cruising altitude. So now let's focus on being the best. Let's dial in. Um, right here will be a um, monthly checklist for the shop. So the service manager needs to inspect the entire shop. Is it clean? Is it organized? Is it swept? Are all these trucks clean? Has he checked inventory? Um, so that's what's going to go here. So he'll have that. Um, this will be our clean truck checklist. What we're gonna do is once these are finalized in the next seven days, we're gonna take good photos um, of the interior, the exterior, the toolboxes, and the inside of the truck. And we will laminate it and stick it to the back of this binder. In this, inside of this will be those truck inspection forms. So we'll slide, you know, a hundred or whatever in there and he can plop it on here, review the pictures, give the score, put it in the truck. Um, one thing that we're working on is instead of negatively reinforcing the guys over and over and over, trying to be positive, and maybe if we put it on a piece of paper, put it in the truck, they've been doing a good job, maybe we staple a $100 bill there for the guys or $250 bills uh, for who's got the cleanest truck. Um, so it's really cool things that we can do there rather than harping on them over and over and over. Um, we, you can see we got our keys here. Um, rain gears hung up. This is all needs to be cleaned up. Again, we're going through like a massive reset. We tore everything down, rebuilding it back up. Um, so what we built here was is our, our cages for our spare inventory, um, like spare window cleaning stuff, spare surface cleaners, pitch hoppers, blowers, water fed poles, all of that shit where the guys will basically go out in one of these trucks and lose the shit and come in and grab it off the shelf and say they never lost it that's all getting locked up so we're building that right now and what's going to go in here is a couple different things um the first thing will be a check-in and check-out sheet so uh if a guy needs something out of here he's going to ask the service manager the service manager will have the code he will check it in and check it out and if it doesn't come back 
then we'll ch take it out of the tax bonus. Um, the other thing that's going to live in here is an inventory sheet. So um, he can run his inventory, make sure we have all the uh, PPE we need, make sure we have all the spare parts that we need, make sure we have tips and, and fittings and, and those brushes and all that stuff. And um, he can briefly run through that, make sure he's in stock, make any purchases that he needs to make, you know, making sure we got spare gloves, we got, you know, face shields, we got eyeglasses, hearing protection, the full nine. That's all going in there. Excuse me, I just burped. Um, and the one final thing that's going to go in there is our purchasing and ordering document. So I have listed every single thing inside of this shop that needs to be purchased at any point in time. And I've listed where I've found the best deals because we have stuff like this over here. Um, those are hoses that the last service manager that does no longer works here, um, he ordered $1,500 worth of hoses and they were the wrong hoses and the company wouldn't take them back. So we basically ate $1,500. Um, you can really go sideways when you give a list to someone else. Um, so anyway, we have listed every single thing that we order, a note, and a lifespan and a price and what the name of it is and where to buy it. So if anything goes missing, he can refer to the lifespan and say, hey, you know, this is supposed to last three, four years. Why is it missing? What happened? So he can investigate what's missing. Anyway, that's a quick tour of the shop and kind of how we will keep track of trucks and equipment. Super easy, simple. Well, not really, but simple and frictionless in a way for employees to work the system.